the first thing that we look for in potential candidates is the eligibility criteria. So we have some minimum entry requirements. Uh, first things first, uh, we need a minimum of a bachelor's degree or equivalent. We also ask for a minimum of three years full-time work experience. We're asking you to also have a GMAT with a minimum score of 600 or a GRE with a minimum score of 300. And then if you're a non-English speaker, we're also asking you to have a English admissions test. So such a thing as an IELTS, and we're asking for the level 7.0 on that or equivalent. Alongside the eligibility criteria, it's important to emphasize that we look at applications holistically. There's not one thing that will count you in or out. So we look at academic background, we look at, of course, uh, your work experience, uh, but we also look at your potential in the future. So we look at your post-MBA aspirations, your post-MBA career goals, and if we are aligned with them. Um, we look at your international experience, we look at your leadership potential, your teamwork, uh, your self-awareness, your maturity. So there's lots of different factors that will factor into your application and when we assess it. You're going to get a good MBA. So the really important thing is, is about fit and alignment for you and for us. The strongest applications that I tend to see is where we have a connection between the various aspects of your application. So what you've done in your previous work experience, your academic experience, what we can provide on the MBA and what you want to do afterwards. If there's a coherent plan between those things, if there's, if there's a connection between those aspects, it tends to lead to a strong application. In terms of the application itself, it's quite straightforward. It's an online application. Um, there's various sections on that. So there's things like transcripts, and your, your GMAT, your GRE, etc. We ask for two references. So it's sort of the, the practicalities. But we're effectively covering five sections within the, the application that you have the chance to fill in a bit more about. The obvious question is why CBS? The second question links to sort of the culture of the program. It's about sustainability and ESG, what that means to you in a business context. The third question is optional. It's about you as a person. We want to know more about you aside from an application. What, what, what makes you tick? What sort of makes you feel alive? The fourth section is very important. It's about your post MBA goals. We have a lot of detailed information in that section to help us understand the alignment of what we can provide. And the fifth section is optional. It's about scholarships. It gives you a bit of a chance to add more detail about why we should give you a scholarship. We assess applications on a rolling basis, um, but we also have application deadlines and rounds um, that are relevant, particularly if you're looking for scholarships. So it, earlier in the cycle that you can apl apply, the better chance of acquiring a scholarship. You've read the website, you've read the brochure. So what's the next steps? I would definitely recommend to get in touch with us. We can comfortably do a, a profile assessment with you online, virtual meeting, coffee meeting in person here. Also, we regularly travel around the world, so chances are we'll have a chance to meet you in person in your country as well. We have a great team to help you out.